Hello everyone. This hour on Verbling, the next in my Learning Through Pictures series, we're going to be working on a new topic, a new unit, getting around the city. So our first picture is going to be an urban landscape. We're going to take a look at all the things that you might find in the city, down the street, and talk about how to maneuver around them. This is a beginner's class, but higher levels are welcome because you can always do a, a revision of your vocabulary. Okay, that's a little bit about the class. Here's a bit about me. I'm John Eric, your verbling teacher for this hour. I'm an American teacher from New York City, hanging out today from Lisbon, Portugal, to bring you this class. Here are three quick rules to help you participate in my class. Don't forget to turn off, tune in, and open up. What does that mean? I'll tell you. Rule one is to turn off your microphone when you're not speaking so we can keep the classroom as quiet as possible. But you can turn it on when you're ready to speak by clicking the icon at the top of the screen. Rule two is tune in to the new words. Activate what you learn and by using it as actively as you can so I can give you feedback. Rule number three is open up to your classmates. Relax and have fun. We're all here to learn and this is a safe and respectful place to practice your English. So just relax. Oh, and by the way, if you want to stay in touch, I will give you a set of links at the end of class where you can do just that. You can follow me on Verbling to see my upcoming classes, read a tweet, talk with me on Facebook and Google+, see a video on my YouTube channel or an old class. This is especially good for reviewing because you'll hear a native speaker saying the vocabulary that you're learning. So it's always good to go back and review the classes if you can. Or you can even schedule a private class directly with me. So that's a little bit about the class. I'm going to go to a picture right now. Let's see if I'm able to do it. Yes. I'm going to put this picture in your notes. but. I'm going to just keep sharing my screen because if I turn it off, it's going to stay off. So I'm going to hopefully you can all see this picture. But I'll give this to you in the notes document as well because you'll be able to see it up close. So if you don't have the notes document open, no problem. I'll give you the link right now in the chat window. There it is. And inside of the Google Hangout chat, you've got it right there. Okay, so open that up, and I'm going to create a new um, class for today, right now. This is going to be called Unit 3, and I'm going to start it on page 3. Unit 3, which I'm going to call Getting Around the City. Getting Around the City. And someone is typing really loudly. OK. And I'm just going to copy and paste that picture directly into the document. But I'm going to keep sharing my screen as well. So give me just a second. Seven. Let's see if I can do this. And because I just happen to have another computer, I'm going to open this document on another computer so I can see what I'm doing. See? As time goes on, things keep getting better and better. Uh, let's see if I have this book on my computer. I hope I do. Yes, I do. Good. Because the problem here is when I'm sharing my screen, I can't see anything, and I've got all the vocabulary at the back of the book. And I want to make sure that I'm not giving you my own interpretation. I want to give you exactly the vocabulary. I want us to use a standard list of vocabulary. So let's go to 145 about there. Oops, got to make this a little bit bigger. This is 137. OK, so I'll make this a little bit bigger on the, on the your notes so you can see the details. And I'd like to do something else too. I want to. I want to focus on. I'd like to focus on location words. And I think 
in your notes document, you've got one slide I'll just draw your attention to from the other day that you can use for now. I've got something better, but for now we're going to use what we have because it's too complicated. So take a quick look at page nine. This is location pictures. Okay, I just want to make sure that everyone sees what we're, what we're reading. So let's take a look, quick look on page nine. I'm not sharing my screen because I can't. But Yuki, can I just have you read through the location words on the top row for us on page nine? Uh, page nine of the document running through pictures. Yeah. That's right. Location pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Just quickly read through the first line for us, the first row. In, inside, on, at, near, under, over. Fantastic. That's the first line. And by the way, I'm going to say, and we'll do introductions in just a second. I know, Sim, you've been here before. Rob, and I don't know you, but we'll do an introduction in just a second. Giuseppe, I'm going to ask you to read the second line for us on page nine. Below, above, around, around, through, among, between. Okay, good. Carmen, can you do the third line for us? <clears throat> Okay. Um, behind, in front of, along, across, up, and down. Okay, and then after that we have opposite, onto, off, into, out of, past. Okay, and Sim, could I have you read the last line on page nine? Where we have to read, I. Uh oh. Okay, just listen. I'll give you the directions in a second. Just listen. The last line is. Next to or by? Can you send me Google Chat? Yes, yes, it's already there. It's already there. But hang on a second. One second. Just listen. Next okay. to, by, besides, against, over, from to. In other words, from here to there, or towards. So these these are all words we've used in the past. And if you want a link to the document. You can go to the Google chat, the, the Hangout chat. Uh, both me and Giuseppe, looks like we posted the, do the document. Are they the same? Yeah, they're the same. We both posted the document. Or in the Verbalink chat, it's the same link that I posted. So go to either chat window to open it up, and you can see those direction, those location words on page 9. OK, Sim? Do you see them? Page 9. So we're going to use that to help us describe the things in the picture. The picture itself is on page four, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check. Page four or three, hold on. I have to scroll up. Oh, sorry, no, page three. My mistake, it's on page three. Okay, so the first time we introduce vocabulary in a class like this, we tend to use things like there is and there are, and just basically name what we speak. Okay? So I'd like to try it like this. We're going to go through as much of the vocabulary as we can, and we're going to try to introduce some, um, some location words. So what I'd like you to do is ask a question like this. I'll get us started. Hang on just a second here. I just have to open my vocabulary and make sure I'm not giving you the wrong words. One second. 137. By the way, all the vocabulary is going to be, if it's not there yet, it will be, in the um, word list, which is on page two. If it's not there, I will update it soon, but it will be there. Okay, so for example, you can see everything is numbered. So I could, I could tell you, using a location word, I could say, Yuki. Yes. What do you see? Now I got to use those location words. So, what do you see um, on the left side? of the street, oh. just above the window. 
What do you see on the left side of the street, just above the window? Uh, I I see the left left on the street, mm -hmm. uh, 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 above the above the window. Mm -hmm. uh, I see the I see the. Mm, Mm. Uh, sign. What kind of sign? What uh, kind of sign? Uh, sign. A sign. I, I see the sign of the of the of the coffee 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 shop. Right. But what kind of sign is it? What kind uh, of lights are there in a sign? A shop sign. Yeah. And it's made of some kind of. It, it lights up at night. So it what do we sign, call... Sign board. No, not a sign board, a sign. Sign. But, do you know the word for that kind of sign? You can, the letters light up? Uh, it is the name of, of, name of the shop. Yeah, but that's too abstract. I'm talking about the physical object. Does anyone know what we call those signs where, where the, uh, the letters light up? What's the kind of light? Light That's, shine. What kind of light? A uh, neon. Neon sign. Neon, neon. Yes. So that's a neon sign. Neon. Very good. So your answer should be like this. There's a neon sign on the left side of the road just above the window. So you've got two location words, on the left and just above. So the, the location words I want you to repeat, OK? The location words I want you to repeat. So for today, we're going to just go through the vocabulary and try to use as many of those location words as we can. All right? Are you ready? And uh, you can look on the screen if you want. I'll try to make this a little bit bigger for you. Hold on a second. I'll try to make it a little bigger. Or just go to your notes document where everything is, whoops, sorry, where everything is a little easier to see. Okay? So let's try it. I'll ask the questions for the beginning, and then you answer, and then maybe you can all take a turn as well. Uh-oh, I don't believe it. It just disappeared. <laughs> oh, no. My screen sharing just went off. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I just lost the screen sharing. OK. I see the document. Oh, yes. I see the picture of the document, so don't worry. Yes, yeah, but we still got what picture. about other students. I know, but anyone watching the class is not going to see anything. Okay. The Vedna, the, she does document uh, picture. Well, you can paste the link into the. So let's see if our new people. Let, let's see if our new people know where we are. So, Sim, do you see the picture on page three of our notes, Sim? Yeah, I, I see. Okay, very good. Robin, are you there? Hello, Robin? Hello, Robin? Robin disappeared. Okay, bye, Robin. Right when I say hello to Robin, Robin disappears. Should I take that personally? <laughs> I'm not going to take it personally. Okay, so let's get started. Take a look at the picture. I'm going to ask a few questions, and then I'll turn it over to you to ask a few others. Um, so, Carmen. Mm-hmm. What do you see? Let me pick a good one. Oh, that's weird. Wow, I wouldn't call it that. Wow, my vocabulary is a little different. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, it's okay. Sorry, looking in the wrong spot. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold on, looking at the wrong page. Okay. What do you see going down the middle of the of the street? What do you see going down the middle of the street? In the middle of the street? Going down the middle of the street. Going what down you, the middle of the street. What do you see that going down the middle of the street? You mean, you mean those mm, paper pieces on, on the road? Give me a number. 28 and 25. Nope, 24. 24, what is it? 24. Ah, those lines. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yellow lines. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but you drive, so what do we call the yellow lines? Uh, I know you drive because you have an old Ford. You told yes. me. Yes. 
<laughs> you remember all. I don't know. I call in yellow yellow lines. And the, I don't know. Okay, but the yellow lines mark what? The, uh, stri the street yeah. is divided into two. Yeah, that's it. Into Lane. two lanes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So you can say, uh, if you want to know what most people would call them, they'll call them center stripes. Center stripes. Okay. Then. Center stripes. So you'd have to say, just like Yuki said, well, there's there's a neon sign on the left just above the window. I asked you, what do you see going down the middle of the road? So you have to say the thing, and then you have to say the location. Okay, there are um, center stripe, stripes going down in the middle of the street. Good, but I didn't say mm -hmm. in the middle. I didn't say going in. Going down the middle of the street. That's right. We don't need in here. Okay. There are center stripes going down the middle of the street. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, fantastic. So, Giuseppe. Oh, I keep losing my... I've got this other computer, but it keeps turning off. Hold on a second. Um, oh, yes, Giuseppe. What do you see... What do you see in the middle of the building, in the middle of the wall of the building, on the right side of the street? What do you see in the middle of the wall of the building, on the right side of the street? Well, or it looks like uh, a window by the wind, the, by the building, or uh, um, twenty-one, number twenty-one, right? No, I was saying uh, number seven. Number seven. Number seven. Is that on the right side of the street or the left? <coughs> no, is number seven is at the top. That's the it's, it's you... on the top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Okay, way up there. Same building, oh, oh, by the okay. way up. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got. It. Okay, we'll go with that. That's okay, Giuseppe. Let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You are generous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what do you see in the middle of the building, but on the top? <laughs> what is that? Well, I was saying that uh, it looks like a window. Or, but it's, uh, it's not a window because it's got writing on it. I don't. And it's not a sign because we it's know a, the, the sign is number one. So what is it? It's something that you would see when you're going down the lane inside of the center stripes. You'd look up, you'd see that, and you'd want to buy something. Oh, okay. Uh... It's a, a workshop sign. It's more simple than that. Much more simple. Second guess, anyone? Advertisement. Okay, but what's the right word? Signboard. Mm -hmm. Signboard, really? A no. commercial advertisement. No, that's right. Hmm? Notice sounds like you're in the 17th century. <laughs> They're posting a notice. On the center, after they're flogging a person, they put a, post a notice in the center square. The uh, right, shop sign. The right word for me would be billboard. Is this frame? A billboard, billboard. That's it. Yes. Billboard number seven. Mm -hmm. Billboard. If you said advertisement, that's okay because it is an advertisement. If you said sign, that's okay because it is a sign. But the kind of sign it is is a billboard. So Giuseppe, your answer should be: There's a billboard. In this, in the middle of the building, on the top, or on the top in the middle of the building, there's a sign. There's a signboard. No, there's a billboard. So we're going to use there is or there are because that's how we that's how we describe things in physical space. There is or there are. So what do you see in the middle of the building on the top? Or I could even say towards the top. Maybe it's better. What do you see in the middle of the building towards the top, Giuseppe? There's a billboard. There's a billboard. <coughs> yeah. Where? On the top of the building. Right. In the middle on the top. Because it's kind of in the middle of the wall. So in the middle on the top. At least that's what I would say. All right. In the middle of the top. In the middle of the top. In the middle of the top of the building. In the middle of the top. See how that rolls off your tongue, Giuseppe? In the middle of the top. In the middle of the, of the top. In the middle of the top. Okay. What about... <laughs> Here, I got one for you. Uh, let's see who's left. We lost one. Oh, Sim, you're there. Okay. 
Sim will give you a super easy one. What do you see above the street, between the buildings? What do you see above the street, between the buildings, Sim? There is or there are what? Pardon me? What do you see above the street, between the two buildings? Above the street, between the two buildings. Two buildings. Yeah. Number six. Number six. <laughs> uh, what is this? I don't know. So, uh, uh, traffic uh, signboard. Not a signboard. Traffic light. Traffic light. So your answer is going to be, well, well, John Eric, there's a traffic light above the street between the buildings. Repeat, there's a traffic light above the street between the buildings. That is traffic light about traffic light above the building. Above the buildings? No, above the street. About the street. Between between the buildings. The building. Absolutely right. That's it. So it's above the street. Above the street. Yuki, is there anything below the street? Uh, Not we don't see it, but is there anything below the street? Below the street? Yeah. No, I can't see. We can't see, you're right. But is there anything below the street in the city? Uh, I think uh, there is the canalization. There is the sewer. Sewer. Ah, so, sewer. Right. There's a sewer, not canalization, but there's a sewer below the street. But we can't see the sewer. But we can see the entrance to the sewer, right? It's number 23. It's number 23. Mm -hmm. So, Carmen, what is number 23? That's right. It's the entrance. But what do we call that? I don't know. Anyone? What do we call number 23? The entrance to the sewer is called, that object is called? Chest pool? Nope. Cover. Yes. What kind of cover? Cover, uh, sewage cover. Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never guess. It's called a manhole cover. Uh, manhole. <laughs> Manhole. Yes, it is the same. Why is it called a manhole? <laughs> Why is it called a manhole? manhole? Because there's a hole in the street that a man goes down into. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so it's a manhole cover. Okay. It sounds dirty, but it's not. It's a manhole cover. Okay. Tell me something. Let's go back to. Let's go back to. Well, Yuki, that was that was good. You talked about the sewer, and Carmen, you talked about the manhole. So Giuseppe. Tell me, is there is there any uh, is there any other hole or opening in the street besides the manhole cover? Is there? Number nineteen. Nineteen. Look at nineteen. Is there <laughs> yeah. any other Oh yeah, really? There is, a, <laughs> there is one hog next to the um, to the building. Okay. And it's right against the Against the, the uh, the edge uh, of the of the building. I saw, uh, it's not, the, not the edge of the, the building. The edge of the street. It's the edge of the street. And what do we call the edge of the street? The the part where your car should not be on. Sidewalk. Yeah, but there's a specific name. So number seventeen is curb. Mm -hmm. Curb. Yes. So curb. it's right on the curb. <coughs> right along the curb, I should say. It's right along the curb. Right along, along the, the curb. curb. And number 19 is what? What would you call that? Uh, chest pool or hug? Nope. Not, a... not, that, not that I know of. Could you write that, by the way? I'm not sure because I'm not sure what you're saying. Could you write that for me? Just so that I know what the word is. Cesspool. Oh, okay. Cesspool. Cess cesspool is, is another way of saying... It's another way of saying a sewer, a sewer that doesn't flow out into, like, uh, well, in the old days to the river, and nowadays to the treatment plant. A cesspool was just like a self-contained um, tank. So those don't really exist, or not too often. So, 
sewer, by, by the way, all of these, Yuki's right, not drainer, but drain. So drain. Sewer, sewer is the thing below the street, and number 19 is a drain, and <laughs> number 17 is a curb. Okay, but listen carefully, Giuseppe. Um, what, what do you see along the curb in the street? In the street along the curb. There's a... Uh, so, in other words, I want you to say the words... Number... No, no, number, no, number 19 again, but I want you to use the no, location no, words. But okay, I want you along, to use the location words. Along so what, the, the curb, there is a... There are... Um, there is or there are? There's only there one. Are. There's only one. Oh, there is? Yeah, there's only one. So no, number 19, there's only one thing. And we know it's called a drain. <laughs> but what I want to hear is the complete sentence. So what do you okay. see in the street along the curb? What do you see in the street along the curb? There's a... There is a, um, a curb. There's a drain. A drain. Where? Close to the... Uh, next to the... along the curb. Along the curb. That's the, what I want to hear. Along the curb. <coughs> um, Carmen, where are the center stripes? Where are they? Uh, the center stripes are, um, are going down, going down the, the lane. Yeah, going down the lane mm -hmm. or going down the street. Yeah. So going down is a location word. It's not just an action. It works in English, going down the street. Along the curb is not about movement. It can be, but it's also just a location word. Okay, so far so good. So now I want you to take an object. So pick an object that you know, okay? You're going to ask us, um, you're going to say the location words, and we're going to say the name of the object, okay? Are you ready? Does everyone have an object in mind? Yes. Okay. So give us the first one, Carmen. Um, can anybody tell me what's uh, uh, at the end of the road, at the end of the street, near, near the corner, or around the corner? So at the end of the street, near the corner. But I see one, two, three different corners. Opposite. Up, oh, across across the cafe. Across. Say again. Across. Across the cafe shop. Across the from, coffee shop. Across, yeah, across from. The coffee shop. Right. Not across, but across from. Mm -hmm. So what's at the end of the street? On the corner. Is that it? Yeah. What the Acro corner? Ac across from the coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Who wants it? Uh, I think uh, it 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 bus stop. There's Yuki. There's there, there's the bus stop near the near the coffee shop. Mm. That's no, yeah, not what she's saying. Oh, she's no. saying across across from, from. Mm -hmm. across from the coffee shop. Number two. Across yeah, from. Number two. Across from the coffee shop, Yuki. Across. Acro ah, across. Oh, sorry. Twenty-two. No, number two. Yeah. Number two. Number two. Yeah. What, what is this? I don't know. What is that? Ooh. Ah, it's a parking. <laughs> Maybe parking. it's a, a, a time parking. Parking mm -hmm. sign. Parking yeah. meter, I think. Parking, parking meter. meter. Parking meter. Oh. Okay, so Yuki, say the whole sentence for us, including the location words. Uh, There's... Parking. There is a parking center. Is a the... parking center? No, not a parking <laughs> center. <laughs> there, is, there, is, there is a parking meter. Uh, across the street from uh, coffee shop. From the coffee shop. From the coffee shop. Okay, good enough, yeah. You could say there's a... She said actually on the corner across from, opposite opposite from, which is good. I like that. But you could say it your way too. It's okay. So there's uh, a then, parking... Yeah. Just uh, what one thing. Say? Sorry. What, what, ca comment. Just, wait, wait a minute. Uh, okay. Uh, what, what to say? Uh, uh, in another way, John. She said, on the corner, opposite, opposite the coffee shop. 
On pourrait dire que tout est confusion. Ok. If you say across, it's across mm -hmm. from. So opposite, opposite the coffee shop or across from the coffee shop. So the from uh, is when you say across. Either across from coffee shop or either, either, uh, either across from coffee shop or opposite. Or opposite the coffee shop. Opposite, opposite. But opposite for me is not quite as clear. It's not bad, it's just that it's not quite as clear because it's across because it's really across the street. That's mm -hmm. why I kind of prefer to say across. Okay, very good. Yuki, you give us an object. Carmen gave us the first one. You give us the next one. So, sorry, then just one thing. Can you mm -hmm. use at for the corner instead of on? At the corner? Instead of yes, you can. Okay, okay. Because it's a specific point. So at is for specific points. On, only because it is literally above the street. So it is also on. Because the, mm -hmm. the, the corner is a sidewalk, and the sidewalk is always a little platform. So, it's, so on is okay too. Okay then. Thank you. Okay, Yuki, give us the next one. Uh, um, what, what can you find uh, near the entrance? of the building on the left of the street uh, near to near to the drain. Okay, what can you find? Let me see if I got this right. What can you find okay. on the left side of the street? Left uh, on the left on the right side. Oh on the right side of the street. Okay. So on the right side of the street in the end of Ah, uh, on the right of the street, in front of in front of the billboard, uh, which is uh, uh, where which is described, which which uh, Bambi described. <laughs> Bambi. <laughs> Bambi. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Bambi is written. What? <laughs> yeah, it's it's twenty one, I think. Who is Bambi? I think it's bamboo. Oh, no, it's Bambi actually. Yeah, it's Bambi. Dia, dia, sorry. Yeah, that's it. Uh, we are dia. <laughs> it, it's not. It. He's right, John. Just, just look at it. But I don't it's, see any Bambi. Yeah. It's what, 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 Bump. Bambi. In front, in front of the I, billboard. Uh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Where do you see Bambi? Where are you see this? Number fourteen. Okay, hang on a second. Let me see. Number 14. I see 12, 11. Oh, look at Bambi. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. Who knew? Look at that. Okay. Yeah. In, in front of Bambi, the billboard, <laughs> there is an object. Uh, hang on a second. Bambi is not a billboard. Bambi's not a billboard. Uh, Bambi's a poster. Poster? Yeah, because Bambi's a movie, so we have movie posters. Ah, uh, it's, po uh, it's a movie poster. It's a poster. Uh, it, 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 the reason it's not a billboard is because it's not it's not high enough or big enough to be a poster, uh, to be a billboard. Billboards are high and big. This one is a little bit smaller. I know you can't tell in the picture. I know it's not obvious, but billboards are bigger, and this uh. one is more of a poster. Also, because we always say movie poster, we don't really say movie billboards that often. Movies can be on billboards, but billboards tend to be really high and really big. Okay, so Yuki, you're saying it what means do we... It, this is a uh, theater, yeah? So yeah, I in, guess so. In front of theater, on the end of uh, the road... No. Okay. On the end of the sidewalk or, or on the end of the road? On the end of the road, in okay. front of in front of Bambi's poster. Okay, fantastic. So you mean number thirteen, right? No, I mean number sixteen. Oh, that little thing. Oh, I uh, see. So what's that? The little, the little, the little. What can you find in front of the Bambi poster, right on the curb? Right on all, the curb. Oh. Right, all the way to the right. Right on the curb, all the way to the right. Right. Right on the curb, all the way to the right. Right on the curb, or all, all the way to the right. Uh, on the that's, story. that's right. Sim, what do you think that is? By the way, uh, Elif, 
we'll be with you in just a minute. I know you're joining a bit late. Just follow along for a moment, okay? Sim, what do you think that is? What's in front of the theater, in front of the Bambi poster, right on the curb, all the way to the right? What do you see there? Right on. Can you repeat the question? Sure. What's in front of the What's in front of the movie poster, the Bambi poster? Okay. On the curb, on the curb, to the right. Number sixteen, by the way, number sixteen in the picture. Can you see it? Watch. Do you know what we call that thing? I don't know what is it. Do you know what it does? Do you know the function of it? Do you recognize the object or do you not recognize the object? Do you know what we do with it? We use it to put out a fire. We, uh, we connect a hose to it. That's where we get the water from. Okay. So what do we call the thing we get the water from? If, if, if the movie theater is on fire, the truck comes up, they attach the hose, and they're able to spray the water on the fire. Do you know what we call that, Sim? Do you know the name? I don't know. The name is hydrant. 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 And it's, and it's spelled like this. Hydrant. Like this in the chat, in the chat window. Hydrant. You can see Yuki wrote it there. Hydrant. So, if you want to be more clear, you can say fire hydrant. But in fact, hydrant is enough. Hydrant. So your answer, Sim, should be, well, there's a fire hydrant in front of the poster on the curb to the right. Because those are the three things Yuki said. In front of the poster, on the curb, to the right. In front of the poster, on the curb, to the right. Where's the fire hydrant, Sim? It's in front of the movie poster, on the curb. Sim, let me hear you say those location words. Sim, let me hear you say those location words. Where's the fire hydrant? Uh, on the on the curb. To the, the on the curb to the right or left to the right side. Not side, just right to the right. Right. Yeah. Right. The, the reason we don't say side is because we're, we're not really describing the picture. We're describing space, three-dimensional space. So I don't want to describe the flat two-dimensional picture. I want to describe three-dimensional space. That's why I don't want to say right or left side because I, want, I don't want to confuse the picture with space. OK, but that's it. Where's the fire hydrant? It's in front of the poster on the curb to the right. Sim, I want you to pick one more object in the picture. Don't tell us the object, but tell us where it is. Tell us where it is. By the way, while you're thinking, let's say a quick hello to Elif, who just joined us. Hello, Elif. How are you? Hello, Elif. Can you un unmute your microphone? Hi. Yes, I. Hi. Hi. Hi, Elif. Where are you from? I'm from Turkey. Excellent. Turkey is a good place. It's a good place to be oh, from. Yeah. Elif, I want you to I want you to open the document that we're sharing. Uh, yes, I open, but I couldn't find where I where is. Uh, okay, one your... one second. Hang on, I'll show you. Hold on. I I'm not able I'm not able to show you right now because there's something wrong with the Hangout. But uh, first of all. Um, when you open the link, go down to page three, and you'll see Unit Three getting around the city. Three. On page three, Unit Three getting around the city. Okay. Uh, Do you see it? Um, no, page three. Yep. Get around the city. That's right. Uh, okay. Okay. And right now, we are practicing location words. 
and we are learning the vocabulary. There are how many things? 28, I think, 29, 30. There are 30 vocabulary words. No, wait, there's more. No, 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 there's more. Well, in the picture, there's 30. Yeah, yeah, in the picture, there's 30. Actually, I have another picture which has more. But in this one, there's 30. Yeah, so there's 30 vocabulary words we're learning. Okay, Sim, did you pick an, did you pick an object in the picture? Do you have one in mind, Sim? Sim, are you with us? Sim, Sim, Sim? Yes. Are you the, okay. Tell us where the object is. Don't tell us what it is, but tell us where it is. Uh, on the curve, in the curve, in the, at the curve, curve. So at the, at the what? I couldn't hear the last word. At the curve. At the curb. Okay. Good. Okay. Is it on the right or left side of the street? Right side on the street. Okay. On the right side of the street. On the curb. I'm going to say on. It sounds a little bit better to say on. Okay. On the right side of the street. On the curb. Okay. Curb. Okay. I think I know which which number you're talking about. So who wants that one? I think I know which one she means. What's on the curb on the right side of the street? Who wants it? Who wants it? Who wants it? Giuseppe, take it. Take it, Giuseppe. The um, direction signals. Uh-oh, wrong word. <laughs> which number are you talking about? Uh, 22. Yeah, I agree. I think it's 22. Sim, is it number 22? Sim, are you there? Yes. Yeah. Are you talking about number 22? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, Giuseppe, it's not direction signals, but what do you think? Um. What's written on those What's written on those little um, plaques? What are the words written on those little plaques? You can't see them. Uh, the, the streets. The, of course. The name of streets, of course. The address. So it's a street what? A street, street sign. A street sign. So number 22. <clears throat> and where is it? The street sign is uh, on the on the right of the of the streets, on, uh, okay. along on the, uh, on the curb. On the curb. It's on the right side of the street on the curb. Fantastic. Okay. Um, now I'm going to give you the rest of the vocabulary. <clears throat> You're going to tell me where it is. I want you to tell me where it is in relation to the last thing you heard. The last thing you heard was number 22, which you know is on the right side of the street on the curb. Okay. I want to, I want you to tell me where the. Ooh, this is going to be hard to see. I'm going to give you an easy one. Okay. I want you to tell me where the mailbox is. Yuki, where's the mailbox? A uh, mailbox is uh, the it's, uh, mailbox. The mailbox. The the mailbox. It is on the on the curb, on the curb, uh, on the left of, of the street. Right. Uh, across, the, across from. Across from sign, street sign. That's it. That's what I want to hear. I want you to try to give the directions in relation to the last thing you heard. So it's across from the street sign. That's it. It's across so from the street sign. Across to the street sign. Right. On, on the curve. Uh, on the curve to the to the le left. To the left of the street. Yeah, that's it. To the, to left, the left of the street. Of the street. Very good. And um, Carmen, let's give you a difficult one. Are you ready for a challenge? Are you ready, Carmen? Carmen, are you there? Carmen, 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 is she gone? Carmen, hello? Carmen, 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 hello? Carmen? <laughs> Carmen, you've just been fired. Okay, let's try someone else. 
Carmen, I don't know where you are. Um, Elif, we're going to give you an easy one. Look at the picture and tell me, where is the bus stop in the picture? Where's the bus stop? Can you see the bus stop? No, I couldn't. Look, look for number 29. Do you see 29? It's pretty easy. It's right in the middle of the picture. Yes, yes, I, I can see. Uh, the bus stop is um, near. So okay. you have to you have to say it in relation to the last thing you heard. The last thing you heard was the mailbox. Oh, mailbox. Okay. Right? So try uh, to give the directions, the location in relation to the mailbox. Where is the bus stop? Uh, bus stop mm -hmm. is uh, back to back, uh, the mailbox. Uh, it's uh, under the I, I don't, I couldn't say, uh, say. Okay, so listen to me. It's in front of the mailbox. Oh, I, it's, not, it's not exactly in front of, but uh, but it's, I'm going to say, yeah, maybe maybe that's a bad example. In front of the mailbox is really the street. I guess there's, the mailbox is not facing the street sign. Okay, never mind. Um, it's, uh, it's, if I look at this picture, if I look, if I look at the top of the picture, towards me, I see the mailbox. But if I see the, if I look at the the bus stop, it's a bit, it's a bit away from me. So anything away from me is down the street. So what I could probably say is the bus stop, is, a bit down, the street on the curb from the mailbox. It's down the street from the mailbox on the curb. Down the street on the curb. Down the street on the curb. Where is the bus stop, Elif? It's, uh, it's down, down the street, the street on, on the, the curb. curb. On the yeah. curb. That's it. Down oh. the street on the curb. So, so two locations. Down the street on the curb. Carmen, is your mic working now? Maybe Carmen stepped away. No, no, it was my own fault. They just closed the hangout. Oh, okay. You bet of me. Don't close the hangout. Not yet. Sorry, John. Uh, what does it mean? Down the street. Down the street means away from us. Away from us. Away from us. Yep. Whenever you say down, it doesn't literally mean down. If you're if you're on a flat surface, down means away. If you're in a room, yes. you can't say down the room because a room is closed. So you have to be in an open space. Then you can say down. So if you're in a city, it's open. Anything away from you is down the street, especially in American English. So where's the bus stop? It's a bit down the street on the curb, number 29. Mm. So okay. all objects are down the street? All the objects are down the street. Are. Yeah, oh, everything is. Maybe maybe the manhole cover is not down the street, because that's oh. towards us. But everything else is down the street. It's true. Mm -hmm. The traffic lights down the street, mm -hmm. uh, the, the parking meters down the street, all of it is down, because it's all away from us. The mailbox is towards us, so the mailbox is not down the street. So down the street means near the street? No, it means away from the viewer. Away from the viewer. From viewer. From oh. our perspective. Oh. From our perspective, the billboard is down the street. Oh. From our perspective, the traffic light is down the street. We we learned about it when we when we learned the picture of the room. Yeah. The picture of the room we couldn't use down because oh. it's closed. There are walls. If you're inside of a space, you can't say down. Down means literally down, and up means up. Oh. But if you're outside, 
in an unrestricted space, then down is another way to say away from us. Mm. So it only works if you're not inside. Okay? And the reason I'm telling you this is because this is very idiomatic. If you get directions from an American, they're going to say, oh, just go down the street. And you think, wait a second, the street goes up. <laughs> How can I go down? Oh. Well, it, because what they, what they mean is you go away from the current position. From us? Go down. Yeah, away from us. Before we learn the expression of far from us, yeah? Yeah, that's okay too. That's okay, but again, yeah. far makes a lot more sense uh, if you think about like... Long distance. It, yeah, long distance, or if you're in a closed space, that's a little bit far from me. You wouldn't say it's down from me because you can't say that inside of a room. Okay, okay. Right? So this is just an idiomatic way a native speaker way of saying away from us. Mm. Um, tell me something. Where's the litter basket? Where's the litter basket? You have to tell me in relation to the bus stop. Where's the litter basket in the picture? I'll give you a hint. It's number 15. Where's the litter basket? Who wants the litter basket? Who wants it? Number 15. Nobody knows? Nobody knows? Look at number 15. If nobody knows, I would say. You say. Across the streets. Oh, uh, there you go. Across the streets to the, to the right. You go down. Right side. This is dustbin. That's right. Not the dustbin, but the litter basket. Litter basket. Litter basket. 15? Uh -huh. Yep. Litter basket. Like this. Litter basket in the chat window. Litter basket. You're right. So Giuseppe said, you said it's across. across it's across the street. the street from the bus stop. From right? the bus stop to the right. Yeah, yeah. Does down a bit to the right. <laughs> down can, a bit to the right. I can say down a bit because from the bus stop, it's down, meaning away. So I could say down here. From our point of view, it's not really down, but that's okay. From the bus stop, it is down. And Sim, you were right too. It's on the right side of the picture. But I'd like to use location words for three-dimensional space. So across the street from the bus stop, down a bit to the, uh, to the, to the right. Yeah, down a bit to the right. Yeah, that's it. I say down a bit because it probably takes four steps to get there, so it's not down very far, but it is down a bit. Um, okay, we've done a lot of vocabulary. Uh, there's a few other things we're going to do, but we're also going to work on some direction words. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is stop the class here. In the beginning of class, we'll do a, a really quick drill with the location words. We'll use all of them. I'll give you the rest of the vocabulary really quickly in the first 10 minutes of the class. And then we're going to work on directions. And I've got some more... Um, I've got some more general features of a city that we're going to talk about as well. And then maybe we can end the unit by you giving me directions, you giving us directions to something important that we should know about. So, for example, uh, if we go to Sicily, if we go to um, Palermo, Giuseppe. Yeah. Can you get us? Can you get us from what, when you get out? When you get out at the port, what's the first thing that we ought to see in Palermo? Oh, well, um, Teatro Massimo Politeama. Perfect. That's what I want to see. I want to see <laughs> Teatro Massimo Polit Politana. Politeama. Politiama. That's what I want to say. So by the end of the unit, you've got to get us from the port to the teatro, right? That's what you've got to do by the end of the class. Not the end of next class, but by the end of the unit. That's going to be your goal. And and Yuki, yes. where, can, where can you give us directions to? Tokyo or Moscow? Uh, direction of what? Uh, well, 
we're going to find out about the theater in Sicily, in Palermo. What are we going to find out where you are? Are you going to give us directions to Moscow or something in Tokyo? What's better? Uh, Tokyo is confusing, probably. Direction of Moscow or, or in in the Moscow? I, I so, sorry, I I don't get it. Uh, uh, you by the end of the unit, I want you to be able to give us directions to something important. Uh, something important. Uh, for example, uh, Red Square in okay. Moscow. That's important. Okay. <laughs> it's very easy. It's uh, it's lo located in the center of the city. Fantastic. Uh, well, so what you're going to do is you, you're going to give us directions, not now, but by the end of the unit, when we have a bunch of direction words, from okay. some point in the city to Red Square. Carmen, where are you? I can't remember. You're somewhere in Spain. Yes, I'm in Valencia. In Valencia. I know nothing about yeah. Valencia. I drove <laughs> through it. I never stopped. I just kept going. So I know nothing about Valencia. Well, you just missed it. <laughs> I, I went to, I know I stopped at uh, Algeciras and I stopped at, no, Algeciras, is that in Spain? But that's in the south. Yeah, yeah. 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 Algeciras, and I, I, I know I stopped at Gibraltar and I stopped at Marbella and mm -hmm. I stopped at a bunch of places. So maybe I never went north far enough to go to Valencia. That's probably mm -hmm. it. I never got far enough north. Uh, what should we see in Valencia? Well, the thing is, I don't live in the city, so oh. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. But I'll tell you about my village. Don't worry okay. about it. <laughs> you can give us some directions around your village. That's it. Okay, fantastic. All right. And Elif, if you're going to stick with us, you can talk, you're going to talk about Turkey. Where are you in Turkey? Are you in Istanbul? Yeah, no, I'm in Artvin. Ah, okay, great. So that's a place I know nothing about. So you can you can give us some directions and talk about it a little bit, okay? So we're gonna have this class again, not tomorrow, but the day after, okay. if I'm not mistaken. I have to double check, but I think it's on Thursday. Let me just double check. Yeah, Thursday at the same time, 11 GMT, 12 Central Time. We're going to do a quick review, a really really quick review of the location words. I'm going to give you the rest of the vocabulary. We're going to focus on directions and features of a city. Right now the only feature we see here is uh, what looks like a movie theater and a cafe. But we, there's a lot of other things in a city we should name. So we're going to go through some of those. I've got another picture for you. Okay? So that's it for now. I don't, can I have an old name of this picture? Uh, the vocabulary. Getting, getting all, all, all the vocabulary of, of this picture getting around the city. The answer uh -huh. is yes, you can. Uh, word list, yeah? Yes, you can, but I've been a little bit busy, so I haven't had time to update things. Okay, okay. But also, hang on a second. Uh, I need to go to, I need to give the, uh, give me just a second here. One moment, one moment. Let me see if I can do this quickly. All right, here's what I'll do. I'm going to get my trusty assistant to see if I can get my trusty assistant to update the vocabulary list for you, because I won't. I won't be able to do it. Um, yes, we're going to do it like that. I have a trusty assistant who's going to help today. <laughs> it's not me. Yeah? <laughs> it's not you. Yeah, I'll, I'll it's not you. you. <laughs> it, it, it's my wife, but she doesn't uh, know that I'm going to ask her. But I'm going to ask her. Okay. She'll do it. If she doesn't do it, then you can blame her. But uh, but but anyway, because I'm not going to have time. But yes, and the word list is going to have thirty. Looks like yeah, thirty. 30 things. We haven't done all 30, but I'll put them there for you, okay? Your job is to put them in Japanese. Please, please give my best regards to your wife. I will. You are. Let's see if she cooperates. I don't know. <laughs> okay. If you want to get in touch with me, you have all my links there in the chat window, Verbal, Google+, Plus, etc., etc. I'll be back again tomorrow at 9 a.m. GMT for our speaking skills class, and then at 10 for the business class. We're working on how to talk about facilities. And this class will be at 11 GMT on Thursday, not tomorrow, 
and Thursday is the 6th, if I'm not mistaken. Today is the 4th, 5th, 6th. Okay? So, bye for now, everyone. See you next time. Now. See you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. See you.